talking about relationships, you haven't been in a relationship, have you? No, I'm not. I'm and not. you are 19 years old. 19. What's yeah. going on with you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you? Yeah. I was drowning. Didn't you just watch me drown? Oh, yeah. <laughs> talking about like, you know, weird relationship dynamics, yeah? Mm. You know that you've, a- you've actually walked in on me doing the deed? Have I? <laughs> Bro Diaries, a brand new podcast show hosted by two brothers, Drizzy Jeremy and... Juvie. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Mate, it's so weird. How does it feel doing a podcast? I've never done it. It's It feels... I feel nervous. It does, it does feel a bit it's a weird. It's nerve wracking. Right? Yeah, because we, we've done content for a while now. A long time now, I'd say. But kind of jumping into... <laughs> into this is... Yeah, it's a bit like... It's a new step. Yeah, us, it is a new a way, step. In a way, yeah. I but like. yeah, um, yeah, we'd like to welcome everyone that's watching to our show. If you're listening on uh, podcast, Apple, Mu- Apple Music, Amazon Music, I think that's one. Um, welcome your faces. If you're watching on YouTube, you can probably see us right now. Welcome yes. as well. Uh, we're excited to get this brand new show started. We've got a lot of stories to talk about. Oh yeah, we've got quite a lot. Our um, our life is quite uh, entertaining. As in like, we we yeah. have a lot of things happening to our life on a daily basis. And it, it's, <laughs> it's always yeah, some kind yeah. of next weird stuff that happens yeah. to us. It, it's kind of weird. Like you wouldn't expect like these things to happen to us, but they do. Even though we're brothers and we're quite close, right? Yeah, we're still quite opposite in different ways. I yeah, I kind of like, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, like we to. like you like different things, I like different things, and you know what? We've never actually fully delved into it. <laughs> yeah, we actually haven't ever. No, we haven't. We never. But yeah, so th- th- this will be kind of interesting. But I, I want there's there's always been one thing on my mind that's always like bugged me. Like I wanted to ask you, like we've we've been doing content for ages, right? Yeah. How was it when you was like growing up? Like, I remember you back in school, a little backpack waddling around yeah. school. Like, how was it? Did you get recognised a lot? No, uh, when we initially started, obviously not as much. But then as more videos were, like, obviously getting released, yeah. D- got did, a lot of recognition. Did you not find it, like, uh, like awkward? Like, I'm a very awkward person, right? Like, you know how I am. I, I get I get awkward quickly. Like, it only takes a few things for you to, for you to do to me, Yeah. And I'm awkward. Yeah. How did you find oh, it? Oh, yeah. I was so awkward. I was yeah. so shy. Yeah. Yeah, man. I did not like it. But then after that, I got used to it after yeah. a certain amount of years doing this. You know what? It's kind of weird because like, back in the day, if you ever like got a camera out and started doing anything, yeah, you were kind of known as the like a weirdo. Like, yeah. like getting out of camera and vlogging or filming something, it was weird back in the day. Now every Tom, Dick and Harry gets it out and, you know, yeah. does it. But back Seems in the normal. day, yeah, like, I remember when I was doing this stuff back, like, way back, like, nearly, nearly 10 years ago. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It, it was that people were looking at me like, what, what's this creep doing? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a lot of people know us from the driving. Yes. Uh, how did that start? I actually have no idea. How did... I? Uh, I have no idea how that even started. I don't know either, but because I remember we st- I started teaching you when you was eleven years old. Yeah, right? yeah, from then, and it was it, like from like I've been teaching you for a while. Oh. I don't know how it came about. I must I must have sat there and be like, you know what? Let me just teach him how to drive. Yeah, something must have just stuck. Some sort of idea. <laughs> it, yeah, it was, it, and guess what? It nearly what nearly. 10 years? Nearly 10 years after, yeah, 10 you're still years. not driving. Yeah, I'm still driving, <laughs> learning. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, making content online is is a bit of a... It's, it's fun and it's got his, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> How weird is it that I've known you? Like, I always think about it. Sometimes I'm in the shower and I think about it. <laughs> I've known you my entire life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How weird is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've put up with you for nearly twenty years of my life. <laughs> I I don't know if you're saying that in a good way. <laughs> but I, I remember you being this tiny thing in a little like incubation box. At, no, at the hospital. Yeah, and now look at you. Yeah. This 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 man just sitting put opposite yeah, me. Yeah, mate, it's crazy. It, it's so weird. Okay, from the top of your head, what's the most funniest thing that's happened to you that that's, that stands out to mo- that that stands out the most? Ever? Ever, oh, yeah. Oh, mate, there's so many. There's so many things. What? 
don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Wait, th- th- this this was kind of funny. Do you remember back in the day? Yeah, yeah. we we gotta bring this back. Mm. Like wearing your football football trainers with your jeans. That was such a flex back in the day. Oh, do you yeah. not remember that? Yeah, but I didn't really do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You was, but, bro. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. I days. feel like you would have done. Yeah. Something going like into that. the shops, getting a nice football trainer, wearing it with your jeans, mate. You felt like the man. And it always had to be me. Yeah. I took it a step further. I started. Oh, I started wearing my football boots with my jeans. Why? I remember when I when I went out. Yeah. With um with a family. Yeah. And my I, I put it on and my dad was like, yeah, don't wear that. And what do I do? Do I do I ever you, listen to anyone? You don't. Yeah, I don't listen to anyone. No. Nope. So um, what I did is I wore them, and I tried to hide them from my dad because I knew if I, if he caught him, if he caught me wearing them, I'd be in trouble. But all you can hear is the clock, 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 yeah. clock. Yeah. The studs touching the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in my head, I felt like the man. But looking back on it, it was a bit odd. It was a bit odd. But bring we got to bring back trainers with football jeans. That, oh, I don't think people would ever do that again. Uh, no, nah, I, I think we should. That was that. I think that really? was yeah. That was one of my best highlights. Wearing like a mercurial with jeans. Trust me, you look like the top man. I don't know in this in this year. I don't know. <laughs> There's some funny things you did though. Oh, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 what? no. It's just, just say it. so embarrassing. Say I don't want to say it. I can't say it. Just say it. It's so embarrassing. What? No, um, I don't even know if I want to say this. Just say it, I want to hear it. Do I know about this? Yeah, everyone literally knows what? about this. So, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to wear a skirt. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I used to wear a skirt. <laughs> it was so weird. Mate, I felt so... Um, I don't even know what I was thinking back then. Yeah. But I was like five. I was wearing that. I uh, now looking back on it, it was a bit odd. Hold on a minute. There's people out there, yeah, confessing. Oh yeah, I killed this person. I killed that person. And here's you confessing. I wore a skirt. I used to wear a skirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather confess that than something else. But uh, I know. I know something. Do you remember the time, yeah? Mm. Uh, I think you was on your iPad, and um, you must have left the room. And I went on your iPad and looked at the search history, and all I said no. was kissing scenes. No. <laughs> God, <laughs> what, what, what was that about? Uh, I was pretty, I was pretty down bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I was very down bad. Kiss, kissing scenes at that scenes. age. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I snitched to mum as well. Yeah, I don't know what mum did. I don't think she really did anything. No, nah, I don't think she did anything. No, nah, she didn't really do anything. But yeah, I was very down bad at that age. Also, I caught you getting head on GTA. Remember um, when I walked in your room? Yeah, yeah. And I, was I think you called mum as well. <laughs> yeah. I think you called everyone to look up my screen. Wait, what? what? But I never knew you could do that, so I was like, okay, let me do it. D- do you need to then get like kick her out of the car and drop her uh, down? Yeah, the cliff. I killed her. Yeah. I killed her straight after. Uh, you know what? Ever since then, I've had my eye on you. Yeah. I, I think you've got serial killer tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> that, that yeah, was I like, killed off but that was normal in GTA everyone did that everyone yeah. did that in GTA uh, yeah everyone did wait th- those were kind of yeah, the glory days but I felt I, I felt very embarrassed when I got caught doing <laughs> yeah. That. yeah catching you out has, yeah. has I, to be it's the worst feeling in the world catching you out has to be one of the worst like, the best things I ever used to do back in the day yeah. didn't I hated you for that <laughs> that was the worst but yeah alright um <laughs> Alright, if, <laughs> if you guys watch, listening and watching have any funny stories that you want to tell us, go follow us on Instagram at Bro Diaries Podcast and DM us some of your stories because we'd love to hear some of them and react to it because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> some of the things we have, like we want to tell you as well is jokes, so we want to get you involved as much as possible. But another thing, bro, what's your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Oh, it's going to be something simple for me. It's just spiders. You hate spiders. Oh, that's I. Oh, thinking about that is, but, I think also I have trypophobia as well. A trans what? Trypophobia. What's a trypophobia? So it's like a fear of like irregular holes. I mean, you've got a hole on your body. No, but like so many of them are. Oh, it's the worst type. Don't search it. Erophophobia. Trypophobia. 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 <laughs> Trypophobia. 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 It's so, I don't know. Ever, all, ever, whenever I look at like a holes, hole. there are like so many like irregular holes. So one like big one, one small one, all like like a clump. It just scares me. I don't know why. I so, feel uncomfortable. So if, if down the line, 
you yeah. <laughs> happen to see your girlfriend's butthole, you're gonna feel no, 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 not like that. What? But it's it's. Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I know what you mean. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, it's it's weird to explain. Yeah, but yeah. Trypophobia. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I believe. So every single time I look at trypophobia images, I always feel uncomfortable. You know what? My biggest fear, and I hate you for it, and and my sister, is you know when you're taking off in a plane. Like I hate taking off in a plane, and you two know that, and you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that, Whoa, I don't know that. Yeah, you did. Really? When we went on a trip, like not too long ago, like two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. I get so anxious tra- when taking off. <laughs> I hate. <laughs> like, really? Bro, my palms. Nah, are bro. Up. So I don't know that. Yeah, my palms really? are swamp- sweating up. Yeah, and we're about to take off, and you two know that, and you purposely look at me, making me feel more <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> bro. Okay. Well, I'll, yeah, that. Yeah. To be fair, that that would be scary. Nah, taking off is it's scary. Yeah, scary. But you know what? Taking off is actually not as dangerous as landing. So if anything, you should be more scared of landing on a, on a plane. Really? Yeah. Oh, taking boy. off is the easiest bit. Oh. But so, really? for some reason, you know what it is? It's when you're like, it, when the when the speed starts taking off, yeah, like yeah. you you, you kind of get pushed back to your chair. Yeah, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. when you then get lifted, it's like, whoa, whoa, yeah, like, you might fall. Oh, yeah, that you feel you yeah. feel kind of weird. Yeah, it does, yeah, it does feel a bit weird. Yeah. Another fear of mine. Okay. Wiping after the toilet. Wiping after going for a poo. We wash, mm. but some people out there. Oh, just wipe and just wipe. I can't. Is it? I, you <laughs> need to wash. You need you to need wash. You need to. It's it's a necessity. You need to wash. Yeah, like. I, I I cannot get up from the toilet, wipe, oh no, and carry on carry on with my day, knowing that I've got a bit of poo particles in my bum. Like I have to wash it yeah, all out. You have to. You have. And to. you know what? This backs it up because I remember back in primary school, like you know when you go around giving people wedgies. I, oh, I went around. Someone had a stain. <laughs> I went around you yeah, and I wedgie someone, and the guy had white boxes on. And as I went to wedgie him and I pulled his white boxer up, yeah. all I saw was a brown circle on his white boxer. <laughs> ever oh, since then. No. Ever since That's then. Disgusting. Ever since then, I think I've stopped wedging people as well. Yeah, yeah. That that was traumatic. That is yeah. But also in general though, I'm I'm a bit funny with like the whole toilet situation. Like I would not go for I would not go and poo outside anywhere besides home. Like I Yeah, can I, go, I can never go to a public toilet. Yeah. Just, Take a poo. Is, nah. is it? Yeah, it feels kind of gross. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't do oh, it. No, no. Like even if I really need it, I would not be able to. I, I'd only have to wee. That's pretty much it. But not poo. No, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. It's it, like for me, I have to be comfortable. Yeah, and to know that I don't know what's happened on that seat before in public places oh, yeah. just completely makes. I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any other fears? Nah, I think that's pretty much it. Drowning. I'm a strong swimmer, but bro. I'm I'm kind of scared of drowning because I nearly drowned. When? Um, it was at it was at this lake thing. Yeah, I thought I was a hard nut and I swam all the way up to like the edge of where they have the barriers. Yeah. And then next thing you know, bro, I've like lost my breath. <laughs> and uh, like at this point, before this point, I thought I was Aquaman. Like I could go in the yeah, water, do everything. You yeah. always think you're every flipping <laughs> superhero in the world. <laughs> and next thing you know, bro, I'm I'm tired. I've lost my breath. Oh no! And oh, I'm going gosh. down. I'm going down under. Yeah. And bro, I honestly thought I was dead. I was I was, I was dead. Yeah, but I was drowning. Didn't you just watch me drown? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we were in coral reef. <laughs> and I was swimming, but then I started like feel like I was drowning, and he's just there watching me. No, no, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what went down. Yeah. So basically, it was at coral reef. It's a, it's yeah. a Water park. Yeah. Um, you were swimming, yeah. or whatever you were doing. I was swimming, yeah. But then you started to drown. I don't yeah. know why. Like, I could see you going... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. To, I remember to, that. Yeah, trying to gasp for air. Yeah. I'm, I'm outside the pool, standing up. And I thought, you know what? Let me just watch him, like, drown. See if he can actually undrown himself. But it got to no, point... No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me just watch it, see if he can undrown himself. Yeah. That is a crazy sentence. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, but I could see you struggle. Like the struggling was there. Like I could see your arms like trying to trying to stay above water. <laughs> um, and what? you know what? As a big brother, you kind of gotta let the little sibling like struggle a bit to le- just to learn. You know. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Let let me let, let me see. Because when I was younger, 
I didn't know how to swim. I got put into the deep end and I learned how to swim. So I was like, you know yeah, what, let me... That's let me. pretty much what I did too. Exactly. So I was like, you know what, let me watch him drown for a bit. And it, it wasn't getting better. So you know what, I did jump in I did, and I did save you. Yeah, so you know you what, did. you owe me a life point. Yeah, but you watched me drown. But I saved you. I know, but <laughs> let me just watch him drown for a bit. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Let me watch him drown. This is, this is a prime example of an, a proper older brother. Yeah, you did save me, but you still watched me. <laughs> yeah. Struggle. Uh, another thing, by the way. Yeah. A fear of mine. I think sh- this should be a fear of you as well. Arranged marriages. Oh. Growing up. Fear. That was a big fear. And uh, I don't yeah. know why you're not scared, because the rumour is that you're getting an arranged marriage to someone back in our country. No, please. It's a doctor as well. No, that is honestly everyone, the rumor. Everyone is always the doctor. It's <laughs> always the doctor. Someone, oh. Someone back in the country yeah, is the doctor. always a doctor. No, you are though. No, I'm not. Would you, would you, would you not Would you not get arranged marriage? No, thank you. You know what? Relationships, yeah, they're stressful in general yeah. and complicated. I feel yeah. like getting arranged marriage makes it even more complicated. Like, how are you supposed to spend the rest of your life with someone that you don't know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't see myself yeah. doing that. Yeah, I'm not thinking about that. It's a bit strange. No, you'd probably love that. Why? Why? I don't, I don't know. Why? Why? You just the type to love that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is so random. It is it's quite random. Oh, but you, yeah, you, no. you, bro, you talking about relationships? You haven't been in a relationship, have you? No, I'm not. I'm and not. You are 19 years old. 19. Yeah. What's going on with you? Oh. <laughs> 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 What's going on with you? Yeah. Bro, I don't, Oh, mate. I don't really want to get into the stress of it. But the thing is, this is what kind of conflicts me. Mm. Like, we don't talk about girls either. No, not really. So, so what's going on with you? Uh, uh, like, at your age, yeah, mate. Yeah. All I wanted to do was get my willy wet, if I'm going to put it blunt. Yeah, fair you, enough. You don't seem to have that urge. No, not really. And I... I don't know if it's, yeah, might be a bit of a concern. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I want, even though I wanted to get my willy wet, yeah, at your age, I couldn't. Like, I, I could not get any girls at your age. I was a virgin up until nearly I was 20. Yeah, and now I'm reaching that. Yeah, you're uh, nearly reaching yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just couldn't. Like, I was so awkward with girls up until... Like, I, I, I That's st- how I, I am have. too, man. That's yeah. how I am too. Maybe it just runs in our genes. I think it does. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I remember I got asked out in year three. I said no. Really? I said no, yeah. That's, that's, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually really weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, supposedly that you do get into a relationship. Yeah. How would you break up with someone? <laughs> oh what? man, that, oh, I couldn't do it over text. You couldn't do it over text. Nah, not so. Text. How would you? Just say we're done. <laughs> you know what? And we leave, and that's it. Yeah. But what if he's like, "Oh, Juvenile, I don't want to leave you." We're done. <laughs> <laughs> get pack your bags. <laughs> pack your bags and get out. Get out. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's not as simple as, yeah, packing bags and get out, mate. Like, yeah, it, that does nah, not work. No. Nah. Trust me, from, from my experience, nah, it does not I work. I feel like it wouldn't work, though. I mean, I'm trying to make it sound simple, but it really ain't. It really ain't. It really ain't. What other approach is there? I don't know. <laughs> there wouldn't be any... Because text is so weird. Oh, no, not over text. Do you know how I first broke up with someone? Mm. On the toilet, over text. Really? Is that bad? Well, listen. The, I don't know. The relationship was coming to an end. I was like, you know what? I need to somehow break it up. At that point, I was like, you know what? I also need a dump. So I went to the toilet on my phone. I was like, I think now is the perfect time. Nice multitasking. Yeah. Like We're breaking up. Drop the dump. Done. Simple <laughs> as that. Simple as that. I, yeah, I literally dump someone. Get it? The dump. No? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Nice. Uh, <laughs> oh my days. Wow. But yeah, like bro, relationships they're they're weird. Also, like you know, like r- different relationships have different mm. dynamics. Mm. As in, like like p- different like relationships, it, it's actually like a deep rabbit hole. Have you heard of the term cuck? Yes, I've heard of that. What? What's a cuck? 
I don't want to. I don't really know how to explain. Well, well, it's someone, and then someone else, obviously. Sorry, it's, it's between like two people, is it not? No, it's when the husband likes to watch the wife. Yeah, with other like, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I met. I met a cuck. You met one. I think I've met a cuck. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Imagine I was getting my hair hair done. Yeah. Oh yeah. This guy comes in, the husband, by the way, of the woman. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you're a nice looking lad. And then the, the conversation carries on going, 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 going. Compliments my teeth. Uh, yes, my teeth is fake, by the way, from Turkey. Turkey's yeah. finest. Yeah. And um, he was like, oh, I need to be worried if men like you come <laughs> in the salon. And um, yeah, yeah. And then um, obviously I was getting my hair like done. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're going to look good after this. Okay. Um, I'll let you be in her. What? I'll let you be in her. Such a weird thing to say. <laughs> at, 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 at that moment, yeah, I was confused. I was like, what? Yeah, you. who wouldn't be? Be in her. And then it started like making sense in my head. You know when the mathematics go... Yeah, yeah. Bro. Well, I, I thought that would be cool. Remember, remember when I said, like, I get awkward easy? Bro, I yeah, got you mu- yeah. awkward, man. Awkward. Who would it be? That's <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Yeah. It's out of nowhere. It's out of I'll nowhere. I'll bean her. Like, what? <laughs> Wait. Some people really need to watch what they're, they're, they're saying. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But I honestly don't understand the whole cock thing. Hey, that's, that's I think weird. that's a weird thing. That is a, it's a weird fetish. Yeah, it's very odd. Yeah, it, it, it really is. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> talking about like, you know, weird relationship dynamics, yeah? Mm. You know that you've a- you've actually walked in on me doing the deed? Have I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this sums you up, though. This, this, like, sums you up as a person. You don't pay attention to anything in your surroundings. You literally open the door, peek your head around. The room was dark, by the way. And you said something and you went out. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, you had no idea. <laughs> That's thought, so bad. Yeah, I thought I was like, I was like, shit. I think I think I think I got caught here, but you had no idea. When was this? <laughs> Ain't like, this like, must have been a long time ago. A while man. ago, yeah. But just Ooh. a future future reference. Please knock on the door instead of just opening the door and poking your head. I felt like I would do that now. Yeah, and I don't want to. But what is it with our household though? Like we literally burst into everyone's room without even There's knocking. There's no privacy. <laughs> There's no There's privacy. None. There is none. <laughs> Everyone has to see everything here. Yeah. The, 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 there is no privacy. Yeah. Like our that household. doesn't exist. Exactly. Our, our household dynamic is so weird as yeah. in like we literally tell each other everything and like there, there literally is no privacy. <laughs> it, it's, it's quite good in some ways and it's quite bad in other ways. I think it's more bad than good in my opinion. You know, it really is. <laughs> it, it, it really is bad. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, how, have, by the way, have you ever been on a date? No. Nah. <laughs> would, you, would you not want to go on a date? Oh uh, yeah, I'd like to. Well, what would your ideal date be? Somewhere to eat, I guess. It's That's, simple though. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah. And you're going to bust some conversation with her. But I could barely get two words out of you. I'm going to have to try my best. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, but I'll be the girl and you be you. And we're on a date. Okay, go on. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hey, Judy. Hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Baby. <laughs> We're not going to sit across the table and go hey to each other. Hey. Start a conversation with me. Man, I don't even know what to say. What? I don't, I don't even know what to talk about. So how are you going to go on a date? We're just going to be silent. <laughs> <laughs> just silent. Bro, I'm so awkward. I, 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 that's bad. You know what? I'm I, so awkward. I could actually see you being silent on a date. Like, 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 that is so you. And that's not a good thing. No, it's not. No, because I need to talk, but I can't. You can't, yeah. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> Wait, this, I'm going to let you figure that one out on your own. I, uh, yeah, I have to somehow figure that out. Yeah, but bro, your task like now is to kind of like get on the dating scene. You're nearly 20 and you've never been on a date before. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Get on a date, mate. I... I need to. Yeah. You, at some point. You know what? Actually, all dates don't actually... It's not actually good. Because I remember I got catfished bad. Oh, no. Don't tell me what it's like. So, like, 
imagine I was uh, I met someone on like online mm. and I was going to the house mm. and the person looked completely opposite to oh, how Oh no. Yeah, this it's a typical catfish story, yeah. But as soon as I see that I switch off instantly. Like I'm I'm I want to get out of there, but the put the thing is I'm in the house. I can't leave. And mate this girl is trying so hard, like pulling her like top down a bit. Oh no! Nice. Like, lip gloss everywhere, and by the by the minute I was getting turned off and off and off and off and off, and all I wanted to do, yeah, is get out of that house. Somehow, in my head, I was like, you know what? Let me fake a call, right? call, and say that oh, someone needs me for work. So I literally faked a call. I stepped out the, the living room into like the the corridor area. Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, you need me now. And I was like, yeah, I put the phone down. I'm like, oh, I need to go. And then she clocked on. And I was faking it. Yeah. Next thing you know, they're like, wait, you're going already. And then I thought, yeah, like, I, I didn't want her to get salty and salty and do like some kind of next thing where yeah. she reports me for something that I didn't even yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was panicking. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I got to go. And, um, and then she was like, all right, show me. Show me proof that you got to go. And then I was like, oh, I'm busted here. I am busted here. So, what so you I've got two phones, right? Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, it's on the other phone, which is in my car. And then uh, she was still reluctant to let me leave. Like, I think I was held in... Like, I held was in, hostage yeah, at that point. Yeah, what? Yeah, you're like your hostage at this point. Yeah, like, I, she wouldn't open the door for me, so I had to literally kind of slowly make my way to the door and open it to get out. Oh and then gosh. I was pretending to get my other phone out to show her. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I gotta go. And, uh, mate... Honestly, I, I, I felt scared because what if she called someone, reported me, and be like, oh, he did this, he did that. But yeah. I didn't even do anything. Yeah. I just wanted to go home. Getting reported to go home. I mean, yeah, that would be that's, a that, that's, that would be a scary story. Yeah, that would be. That sounds really bad, though. Yeah, no, it was bad. It was actually bad. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so that's, that's... When you're in the dating scene, yeah, be careful of catfishes, kids. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them about... <sighs> Um, whilst we're on the topic of, you know, fear and relationship, you know, after watching movies like Get Out, mm. imagine I went out in my previous relationship, like, I went on holiday to this resort, mm. everything seemed fine. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Until I started looking around a bit, and I was the only one of colour. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. No, but it, it, I usually don't have a problem with this, yeah? Like, yeah. I don't mind. Like, I, I don't care. Yeah. But it got to a point where I'm like, okay, this is this is kind of this is kind of weird. Yeah. And I was like, out, yeah, yeah, what if what if something happens? Who do I call? Who can I call? No I'm one. in a different country. How is anyone gonna come save me? Yeah, no one can. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Uh, I realize that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but what, what would you do in that situation? What can you do in that Yeah, situation? you just got to carry on enjoying just, the holiday. You just got to deal with it, I <laughs> yeah, guess. That's literally what yeah, I did. Yeah, that's all you had to do. You can't really do much. <laughs> okay, all right. If he were... Okay, let's talk theoretically here, mm. yeah? If he was in a relationship, mm. what would be your toxic trait? Toxic trait? Oh, I don't really have one. Surely, everyone's got a toxic trait. Oh, man, I, I don't think I do. You do. I think your toxic trait is probably playing the PlayStation a bit too much. You would, oh, play, oh, yeah, playing a lot. You would not show yeah. your girlfriend any any time at all. Oh, well, <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. It is, that's a toxic trait, right? Yeah, I think that, yeah, that 100% had to be one. See, my toxic trait was, I used to go through, like, my girl's phone. Mm. Until this one day, like, I was, I was on the bus, yeah. going on holiday... Yeah, or like a coach. Yeah. So I'm trapped in the coach. I can't get out. I'm trapped in there. Mm. I started going through the phone. Yeah. And this was before like we got in a relationship. And I opened a chat from ages ago, on her, on her phone, and I see this picture, and it was from another man, and oh my days! When I say this Willie was big, bro, this Willie was big. There was a nude on there of him in the, standing in front of the mirror with a massive ass willy. Bro, I didn't even know. I, I, I don't even know if I could be pissed at this point. Yeah, I, no, I was like, no, don't get me wrong. I was ready to dash her out the window of the coach bus. Yeah, but okay, okay. But yeah, but like, bro, damn. Yeah, I was like, bro, how big is that willy? That has to be fake or something. 
no, from then on, yeah, I stopped going through like a girl's phone because stuff like that, I, I do not want to come across what ever, e- ever no. again. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, would you ever get hypnotized? By the way, would I ever get hypnotized? Yeah. Nah. You wouldn't. Nah. nah. Like someone else. Oh, messing with my brain. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, imagine that. Like, it's weird, isn't it? But Someone do you think it'll work? Eh, I don't know. Some method might work. Some Maybe. method might. Yeah. But nah. No, <laughs> not like to get... Because I've watched Get Out so many times, I just... That scared me. Yeah, that's what kind of reminded me to ask yeah. you that because it's a bit like... Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Stay I can't away, wait. I'm staying away from that. Yeah. No, thank you. I mean, it's, it does kind of intrigue me, though. I, I am a bit curious, but I am very scared of that as Im- well. Imagine you like you get hypnotized, you start doing... Blah, 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 blah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, I just end up like, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, it's not like you do... You already do enough mm-hmm. weird shit as it is. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Listen, if you guys have any relationship um, stories uh, or dilemmas, we'd like to know. So, you know, DM us on... Bro Diaries podcast and like we want to read through them and see what you guys have been through as well because I'm pretty sure there's some crazy stories out there as well. Yeah. Uh, controversial topics that we don't actually agree on. Juice with bits or without? <sighs> Juice without bits is better. Bro. Don't even start. Juice without bits is so much better. Juice with bits no, is better. No, no, no. How? Listen, like Mate, it gives you a smoother experience when you're drinking the juice. Who wouldn't want that? Bro. But then there's all these bits stuck in your teeth for just gross. No, thank you. The thing is, with bits, you're getting two in one. You kind of eat and you kind of drink. So you're gobbling down a drink and you're like... Mm-hmm. No, that's weird. And then something gets stuck in your teeth. No, thank you. I'm 100% telling you bits <clears throat> is, is better. Nah. No. Without bits, without bits. No, no, no. That, it's just king. Like, that just tastes like water. Like plain what? juice. Like bits is better. No, man. No, 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 no. You got some weird taste buds. No, you do. Who like... How do people like bits? I don't understand. Bits is goated. No, it's not goated. Without bits is the best. So many people will definitely disagree with me on that. But S- without bits, 100% is so, so like, much better. I don't know. A grapefruit juice yeah with grapefruit bits that will slap no without it it's just nice oh my days. no you must just eat the actual fruit then yeah that's exactly i said two in one no but it doesn't matter no it's juice you're not meant to eat juice you're meant to drink juice only <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't eat juice no you drink juice you eat juice no you don't eat juice you drink juice <laughs> all right no. another one you no. you can't taste this but i can mm. there's a difference in taste between tap water Oh, yeah. Um, bottled water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I can is. taste that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. It is weird. It is weird. But yeah, there's definitely a different taste between tap and bottled water. I cannot drink tap. It's disgusting. Like, there's some weird, like, taste that leaves in, leaves yeah, in my I mouth. Like and I get a stomachache, like, like, a few hours after. Mm, I don't, but... Yeah. No, I generally do. To the point where, like, my stomach is hurting. <laughs> yeah. That's not a good thing, is that's, it? Yeah, so that's why I stopped drinking tap water. No, I could never drink tap water. Do you wet your toothbrush before or after applying the toothpaste? The only right answer is before. No one does it after. You do it before and you do it after as well. That's it. That's, that's what I'm looking for. If hey. any of you listening wet your toothpaste after. Before. So you wet your toothbrush before. Brush, yeah. You apply the toothpaste and then you wet your toothpaste and your brush yeah. again. But if you, if you wet your toothbrush brush apply the paste and don't wet it that's weird that is odd what's even more odd is putting the toothpaste on the brush without even wetting the brush yeah yeah a dry toothbrush with tooth no 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 yeah that you you need to wet the toothbrush twice you have to when you was a kid did you want to eat the toothpaste oh yeah (laughs) yeah 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 yeah, yeah. always (laughs) what it was always the red blue and the white one yeah always tastes so good that why did it taste like... I literally wanted I to just know. gobble it. Yeah, I really it. wanted to eat the whole paste. Yeah, yeah. I really <laughs> wanted to, but... I'm glad I'm not yeah. the only one. Yeah. Nah, but then I realised that I can't do that. Yeah. It was so nice, though. It was nice. Love the taste of it. it it's like them specific ones that actually yeah. taste nice. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <sighs> is it better to be the older, middle, or last child? I'm the older child. Right? I think it's better to be the youngest. I don't you know, get treated why? the best. Uh, yeah, exactly. So it's, 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 Our family's literally... 
prime example of that. I I got treated way better than you, in my opinion. Wait, so you think you get treated more better? Yeah. Yeah, but then I I also get the special treatment. Yeah, because you're the first child. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I think older is better. Nah. But the thing is, I get I had to go through things that you haven't you haven't gone through. Yeah, pretty much. Like, and I I'm somehow responsible for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah, why? Yeah, I don't know. That's just weird. Yeah, I've always thought. Yeah, why are you always responsible for me? They're just parents, not you. I mean, you're responsible for yourself. You're 19. <laughs> yeah, true. Why am I? But I think each has got his own advantage and disadvantages. Yeah, true. Like I had to go through things that you never had to go through. Yeah. For example, when I first come into this country, right? I had, mm. I didn't have no idea about English. I didn't know. I didn't even know how to speak English. Oh yeah. And I heard this word, shit. The oh, word is shit. Yeah. I know this story. <laughs> in school. Yeah. And I yeah. went and asked mum, is shit a bad word? She's like, no, it's not a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to school the next day and said it. And the teacher come in and be like, pulled me to the side and be like, oh, you swore. I was like, what, when? I, I didn't even swear. <laughs> I was like, what word did I even say? And she spat it out. And I was like, yeah, it's not a swear word. She was like, yes, it is. Like, who? My mum stitched me up there. Yeah, yeah, she literally set you up. Yeah, she fully set me yeah. up. So I had to go through that you never had to go through. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think middle child is going to be... Like, yeah, that's the worst. I would, I would not want to be the middle no, child. No. Being the middle child is definitely the worst. Yeah, yeah, Uh And now, like, bro, like, I want, I want to debunk this myth, yeah? Mm. So you see when you're starving... Yeah. And you eat. Yeah. But you seem to get fuller Full, quicker. quicker, yeah, yeah. Why is I that? I have no idea. But yeah, that's always happened to me. I have uh, no idea. When I'm, I'm extremely hungry, I'm eating, and then I'm full after like two minutes. Yeah. I'm like why? But when you're eating, like without have without when when you're not starving, bro, you could eat and eat and eat yeah. and eat. How That's does that weird. work? I have no idea how that works. That's so strange. I don't know if we're definitely not the only ones. Nah, we we we, we can't be the only ones. Nah, no way. So many people must feel that. Yeah. But you you could eat quite a bit. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, you you'd be the professional at judging that. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no, I, I I don't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. It is weird. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. Maybe there's something in a brain telling us something. Mm. It's quite. We definitely need to figure that one out. Yeah, bro. You know what? Um, I, I'm I'm still a bit sad today. You know. Why. That United defeat yesterday, like, I don't want to go too much into sports at the minute because it's hard being a United supporter. It's the worst. But yesterday's defeat to Chelsea, man. Chelsea. Chelsea. I, have any other, I wouldn't have minded any other defeat, but Chelsea. It was, an, it was the 100th minute. 100th and the, minute. And the 111th minute. Two goals bat. I believe. <sighs> I don't care. I'm going to say we got robbed. 100%. We didn't get robbed. We It was how we played. But did you see the penalties? Yeah, the pen. Yeah, the penalties. Look at that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Especially that. the second one. <sighs> that one was stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. There was barely even any contact. If anything, there was nothing. Like, you know, it was what? so dumb. It, it's hard being a United supporter. Because Especially this season. Oh my god. No, for the last ten years. Yeah, true. I haven't really won much. Yeah, like I grew up seeing United win everything, yeah. and to now see them barely win games yeah. it's so hard you've literally started watching football this year right yeah pretty much and how hard is it and it's very depressing <laughs> it's, it's, it, I do not like it yeah like I, I, like there's been times where I've travelled to Old Trafford from London to Manchester mm. seen my team lose or not even score a goal actually yeah. and come back that is the worst yeah that. I'm so close to changing teams yeah, the only team I wouldn't support is Arsenal, if I'm honest. I would not want to support them. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm, no, I, I'm going to just completely go off the Premier League and support a different team. Like, I only support PSG or Real Madrid. I yeah, think. you know what? I, at this current you moment... You might as well support I'm, one of them. I might as well. At least, yeah. But, mate, I'm honestly... I, I think I had to touch on that because that honestly... That's messed. probably one of our worst defeats. That is honest. Yeah, that, that's one of our worst we defeats. was actually like... I was like, yeah, we, 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 we've won this. What a performance... And it all went to shit yeah. at the end. But to be fair, we've had so many injuries. We have. We've had too many this season. We have. We we bet we should go to a game once. We haven't actually gone to a yeah, game we together. Yeah, we haven't been together ever. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. 
But them players, man. <laughs> next season, because I think this season is just done for us. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any tight sort of Europe competition yeah. this season. You should get into playing football, man. You're annoying. You, I want you to play football, but you never play. I'm not good. It doesn't matter. I'm not good. It doesn't matter. It does. How? I just know. come and play. Ah. Go and go. No. <laughs> so, I hate being a goalkeeper. Yeah, this is the thing, yeah? So you say you're not good, but you want to play striker. And <laughs> well, it's obviously sarcasm. There's no way I could play a striker. <laughs> I can't. I run. If I run once, I'll just be tired anyways. <laughs> but so where are you going to play then? I don't know. I'll goalkeeper. Play, no, no, I don't want to play goalie. Who, I'll play then? like a defender or something. I wouldn't mind defence. But I don't want to play goalie, man. You should try it. Because back in school, I'd always be goalie and I hated it. Oh, you was the goalie. I was always go- either defender or goalie and I really hated it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd rather be a defender than a goalie. You should come and try it out. Uh, maybe. Nah. Maybe. <laughs> you should come and try it out. I don't know. You never play any sports, man. Yeah, This 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 one thing I don't like you as a brother. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say it straight. Yeah. You don't play any sports with yeah, me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like... You've never played any sports with me. Why? I don't know. Do you know how hard that is growing up? I just feel like I never got into it. Yeah. And I don't know why. I have no <laughs> idea. Man, my mind's so blank. I have just no idea. <laughs> like, I literally have no idea why I don't do the things that I do. Yeah. What did you do growing up anyways? I just played. <laughs> yeah. On my iPad, the Xbox, the PlayStation. That's pretty much it. Yeah, like, we never, we played games. Yeah, but yeah. But we never played anything else besides that. Nah, we did play, obviously, I want to say sports, but we played, yeah, I guess sports in our garden when we were little. Yeah, but not like full on. Nah, not full on, like proper, like, yeah, no, no, we never yeah. did that together. Yeah, thanks, because you ruined my my childhood growing up. Oh. I wanted a brother to play sports with, and you didn't play, play with me. Really? But you just bullied me. Or... <laughs> you just bullied me. <laughs> Yeah, that's what his sport was, bullying me. <laughs> Mate, he is, he's such a bully. You, you have to. It, yeah, you kind of have to bully. Yeah, exactly. You have to, you that, the that's the sibling, thing. You got, yeah. Yeah, you if have you're to. the oldest, you have to bully the yeah. younger sibling. But then you used to blame me for things that I didn't even do. Oh, yeah. You used to break things and blame me. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> but you're too much. Yeah, but. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know what? We've got so much more stories that we need to get into oh, in the future yeah, episodes. Yeah. But um, guys, this I think will wrap it up for this episode. Yes. This has been the first episode of Bro Diaries. Bro Diaries. Uh, th- this has been something new to us, and yeah. I've I've actually enjoyed this. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like. Yeah. This. It's been oh, good nice. talking to you about our life. Yeah. Even much. though we're always together. Yeah. yeah we're literally <laughs> so close to each other. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up. I see you. Yeah. I go to sleep. I see you. Yeah. But yeah, uh, guys, I want we want you guys to get involved as well. Uh, you know, if you want to drop in some of your stories, some of your dilemmas, uh, go follow us on Instagram at Bro Diaries Podcast. Um, you know, or follow us on Twitter at Bro Diaries Pod, and uh, you know, give us uh, some of your dilemmas or your stories that we can react to on the coming episodes as well as that if you're watching this on youtube make sure you subscribe uh we're trying to get to 100k subscribers and uh if you're watching this on spotify uh, apple music amazon music give us a five star review um it will help us out a lot and uh yeah we're excited to bring out more episodes i hope you guys yes, enjoy this one excited uh, a little insight into our lives we don't just do driving videos we yeah have... we do much more than that yeah yes so uh, yeah Guys, it's been it's been great. Yeah. That's it for episode one and we shall see you in our next episode. Take care.